Nitro Canine, Real Dog Training. <coughs> Greetings, dog lovers everywhere. You're listening to Nitro Canine's Real Dog Training. I'm Dave Tucker, and today's episode, Certifications, What You Should Look For in Your Dog Trainer. Today's episode is a little shorter than usual, but I can assure you we've covered this topic thoroughly. Real Dog Training is based on the experience and wisdom of Steve Walter, the owner and founder of Nitro Canine. Steve has an international following of dog trainers and dog lovers, and to find out more about his work, go to nitrocanine.com. The Nitro Canine Real Dog Training podcast is released three times a month on the 10th, the 20th, and the 30th, so mark your calendars and don't miss an episode. Check out the website, nitrocanine.com, and read some of the success stories that Nitro Canine has had training dogs who were previously leash reactive, incapacitated by fear, highly aggressive, and by using Steve's techniques, these dogs have overcome these issues and are now happy members of their families. I do want to announce that our next episode will include an interview with Steve Walter, the owner and founder of Nitro Canine. Steve will talk about how he got involved in dog training, his love for dog training, and the important principles that everyone needs to understand in order to train a dog. This episode will be distributed on October 30th, just in time for Halloween, which is ironically appropriate since Steve is the big dog. You don't want to miss it. So let's move on to today's episode. Certifications in dog training. So, when you look for a dog trainer, what kind of certification is best? Okay, that's a trick question. Here's the real question. Why would a dog trainer need a certification in the first place? You want your trainer to know his stuff. You want him to be educated and have applied this education to real dogs and gotten real results. So, doesn't a certification show that? Well, not exactly. First of all, dog training is not regulated. Anyone can hang up a shingle and call himself a dog trainer. That might be someone with 40 years of experience who's trained thousands of dogs, or it could be someone who trained his dog to sit in four hours and now thinks he's qualified to help others. And not only are the trainers not regulated, but the certification programs aren't regulated either. Anyone can set up a dog training certification program. Uh, There are many organizations that offer dog training certification. So that raises the question, does that certificate actually mean anything? I'm sure there's probably an online course that will give you a certification in dog training, even though you've never laid eyes on a dog. Finally, by itself, a certification is an incomplete education. And the fact remains that the necessary experience needed to be a good dog trainer can't be found in the classroom. You can study the history of dog training or read about behavior and opera conditioning, But are they teaching you how to calm an aggressive dog, or a fearful, anxious, nervous wreck of a dog, or a cat chaser, a heel nipper, or a runner? I don't think so. That only comes through practical application and experience. Qualifications come from successes, not from a string of letters after your name. In the old days, dog training was a family business. Knowledge was passed down from generation to generation. Interesting enough, that is true to a certain degree even today. But unlike other trades, there's never been a formalized apprenticeship program. Most serious dog trainers today apprentice unofficially with another dog trainer or work and communicate extensively with peers, usually both. And most serious dog trainers also have read and keep up with all the literature. There's no way to quantify this because methods and techniques vary. See, I'm a voice actor. That's what I do. I speak into a microphone. I provide a voice for commercials, video games, audiobooks, and of course, the Nitro Canine Real Dog Training Podcast. Now, some people have asked where I've trained, who my coaches are, what kind of projects I've done. But does it really matter? I mean, either you like my work or you don't, regardless of what certificates hang on my wall. When Steve thought about putting this podcast together, he didn't ask me for diplomas or credentials. He simply asked, What would it sound like? So I gave him a sample episode, and he said, let's do it. No transcripts, no references, no secret handshakes. He was happy with the work because that's what mattered. So when you're selecting a dog trainer, don't be swayed by whether or not they have some certificate or diploma. Don't get me wrong. There are a lot of great dog trainers who have so-called credentials. But that doesn't mean there aren't a lot of bad trainers who have the same certificates. Instead, ask for success stories. Ask for references. If you're facing a particular issue, 
Ask whether your trainer has dealt with it in other dogs before and how. Some of the trainers at Nitro Canine have credentials and some have none. But if you want to see if they're qualified, check out nitrocanine.com. They're also on Facebook and Instagram with some amazing videos and not just the Nitro trainers, but the Nitro clients taking their dogs through their paces. Believe me, it'll warm your heart to see how responsive and happy these dogs are. Thanks for listening to today's episode. My name is Dave Tucker, and you've been listening to Nitro Canine Real Dog Training. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe to our podcast and let your dog lover friends know about it as well. For more information, go to nitrocanine.com. And if you've got a question, click on the contact tab at the top right corner of the webpage and ask Steve a question. Please mention that you've been listening to the podcast when you write Steve because he's really excited about this project. And just a reminder, Steve will be on the next episode to be released on October 30th. You definitely want to hear what the big dog has to say. Thanks again for listening to Nitro Canine's Real Dog Training. I'm Dave Tucker, reminding you that a trained dog is a happy dog. And at the other end of that leash is a happy dog lover. Nitro Canine, Real Dog Training. (laughs) Episodes of Real Dog Training are released on the 10th, 20th, and 30th of each month. For more information, go to nitrocanine.com.